Good morning everyone. One last time from the Intercontinental Thalasso Spa. We are not leaving Bora Bora just yet. However, we are transferring to the Intercontinental Le Moana today. That is going to be the same, um, owned by the same hotel. So it's very easy. We just get on a transfer boat from the Intercontinental Thalasso over to the Le Moana this morning, where we are going to continue this vlog by giving you a full resort tour there, as well as an overwater bungalow tour there and see what that looks like. That resort will probably cost you um, a little bit less than here so we're gonna kind of show you how you can split up your Bora Bora trip to be able to uh, make it a little more budget friendly or fit inside your budget if you need to that way you guys can see all of the different room types here resorts and things um, of that sort so we are ready we are packed up and we are going to head to the Le Moana so we will see you all there we're about to leave the intercontinental Thalassa spa how does that make you feel I refuse <laughs> me too we want to stay. <laughs> All right, we have arrived at the Intercontinental Bora Bora Limoana Resort. So when they transfer you, they do take care of all of your luggage here. Pretty nice, we got our own private boat transfer. So I want to show you all the view you'll have of the mountain from here. So it's not the same view we had at the Thalasso, but you do still get a view of that mountain if you wish. And you can book these bungalows here that have that mountain view still. While we wait for our bungalow to be ready, we decided to get some chips and guac. Well, they gave us Doritos and guac. So let's try it out. <laughs> it's actually really good. Okay, we have gotten all settled into our overwater bungalow here at the Le Moana, and we cannot wait to show you all what it looks like. Let's go. All right, well, welcome. As soon as you walk into this overwater bungalow, you're right in the living room. You've got a couch, another glass table. If you haven't seen the other Intercontinental Resort review we did, be sure to check that out. They have one too. This one's super cool because it actually slides open, which is really neat. You do have a little desk work area with plenty of plugs over here for you to use, but these are some of the only plugs in the room, so do keep that in mind. And then there is your big sliding glass door here with your balcony where you can go out side and then when I move over here we have our TV you've got a little bar area and a mini fridge in here and so yeah it's a great little area it's definitely smaller than our other one that we stayed in but this has been perfect size we didn't need any bigger so it's been really nice all right so now we are going to show you our giant king size bed inside the bedroom area so i absolutely love the king size bed it's huge like we can't even touch each other from one end there's a tv there's plenty of shelving a beautiful window to see outside and yeah you've got end tables with lights on them a phone you've got an alarm clock with some usb plugs and that's about it in your bedroom and there's plenty of floor space where i put some of my shoes as well Okay, and now I'm going to show with you our bathroom. We do have a full standing shower. You have a separate bathroom area with your toilet. You have your bathtub, which I currently have my bathing suits drying on. A giant closet here. We have our double vanity sink. We have a little towel washcloth station over there. And then you do have a huge vanity here to help you get ready. One thing I forgot to mention in this bathroom is a full size mirror, which is great for getting ready. All right, welcome to our patio. I absolutely love it. We've got two lounge chairs here and a little coffee area table and of course a jumping platform. However, our water is very shallow here so you definitely have to use the ladder. Don't jump in or you're, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you all enjoyed our quick little bungalow tour, and now we are going to show you the rest of the Le Moana. It is absolutely beautiful, and we've been having such a good time here. One thing I do want to quickly mention here is I love the Le Moana for the fish and the coral that are here. The other intercontinental that we stayed out on the island, the, the Lasso Spa, was nice, but there were no fish um, under the bungalow. They, they had a little snorkeling area you could go to. Okay, so we are walking out of our bungalow, and I want to show you from here the beaches because it's really easy to point out so they're on both my left and my right and they are absolutely stunning they've got your lounge chairs they've also got a little water sport area where you can do things like paddleboard kayak and 
um, other different water activities they have. So it's so much fun, um, and we've had gotten a beautiful view of the beaches this whole time from our bungalow too. So one thing I do want to point out is this hotel also has beach bungalows that you can get that are a little cheaper than the overwater bungalows too. And those are going to be laid out right there. Those are really nice because you can just walk right out of your bungalow and be on the beach. And it looks like they each come with a little private hammock too. How nice is that? Okay, so as we are almost towards the end of the pier here, I do want to point out that is the boat dock over here to my right where you are going to get off the shuttle for your airport transfers or if you're doing any tours, they will pick you up over at the boat dock. Okay, so now we have made it to more of the central location of the resort, so beaches are both ways. <laughs> and then... We are going to walk through here and show you guys this little central plaza in the main restaurant and then there's a bar and pool that we're going to show you also. So right out here is that outdoor patio area where you can have light lunches <laughs> and some drinks during the day. <laughs> Thanks. So right here is actually where we saw a beautiful Polynesian show last night and then the restaurant here kind of wraps around <laughs> You're just following the camera at this point. <laughs> it wraps around uh, the entire center place here. So right over here is where the buffet is. You'll check in over here and get your table. And then like I said, just I can walk in a circle and this is like the restaurant area right over here. So here at this restaurant is where they're going to serve their buffet breakfast as well as their dinner. All right, if we walk through this little restaurant area here, we are going to arrive at the bar. And the bar is open starting at 11 a.m. daily and open till later in the evening, but they make some delicious drinks here. Got a pool table here next to the bar if you wanna play some pool. All right, we are now leaving the bar and heading towards the pool. So that was the pool there and then right over here I do want to mention that these are the bathrooms that you're going to use whether you have to go to the bathroom while you're at the pool at the bar or during the restaurant um, or at the restaurant then those are going to be your bathrooms. Okay currently making our way back past the bar because I'm going to show you all the concierge desk and that's going to be right by the restaurant. All right, finishing up by walking towards the front of the resort. Now this is going to be your lobby and check-in area. I know it's kind of backwards the way we did it starting from the back, but I wanted to show you that because when you arrive to this resort via the boat transfer, you're gonna arrive back at that boat dock, so you're gonna have to walk through this stuff in order to get to the front, which is the check-in. If you want any Tahitian pearls and jewelry, they do have another shop here right across from check-in. All right, right here at the front of the resort is where you are going to be picked up by any land tours you are doing. And as we keep walking to the right, as if we're leaving the resort, you do run into the boutique over here. So if you need anything such as sunscreen, swimsuits, dresses, um, toiletries, items such as those, you are going to come into the boutique. So right across the street here is actually a public beach on Bora Bora where you can walk over to to see the sunsets at night and you can also fly a drone from this beach. So it's been really helpful being at this resort where we can just walk right across here and do some cool drone shots since you can't do them from any resort. back as if we're walking to the pool by the bathrooms I showed you all. They do have a little game room here, sort of library and game room uh, that we just discovered, so we figured we'd show you all. Okay, so we are currently walking through the back side of the beach bungalows that we showed you earlier in the tour. So this is just where you would enter your beach bungalow at, or you can enter from the other side. So here is the second set of over water bungalows. Not too many here, maybe like eight or nine, um, because most of them are over there where we came from. These are those beach bungalows to kind of give you all an idea of where we're at in the resort right now. All right, we got some drinks here. We got... Okay, thank you. All right, so I did go ahead and get the Purple Rain. This is a signature drink created by their bar manager here. 
Yeah. Um, I actually won some awards and stuff. It's like a uh, type of gin. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. Um, and beer on top. And then we did also get some chips and dip. Want us to help you plan your dream Tahiti vacation? We are fully licensed and certified to help you plan every detail of your luxury vacation, including resorts, transfers, tours, activities, and so much more. Be sure to visit our website at www.mainstreetandbeyondtravel.com slash travel hyphen quote to receive your complimentary travel quote from us, and we'll get started booking and planning your Tahiti vacation today.